afternoon. I should say good morning or wherever it is in the world. It's your boy Masterful27 here again, back with some Pokemon Go. Lovely stuff to catch up on. And um, really, really, really want to sort of jump straight into what's going on. So we've got winter. Um, we, I moved house over the weekend, just gone. Um, adjust my scarf there. Moved um, house over the weekend. Uh, it's now winter time here in the UK. And we had some snow last night, snow this morning, and it's caused a bit of havoc. So we've moved into uh, into the southwest in the United Kingdom now. So we did all that over the weekend. So it's been a bit chaotic and hectic, but finally now moved in to our new place in the Shires, as we call it, here in the Downs. Uh, in southwest in Wiltshire in the United Kingdom. So, Pokemon Go news, and thank you all for persevering with me. We've had some big bits I want to talk about on this vlog. I want to talk about the community day details which have been announced. I want to touch on the Phoebus window event and what my opinion and thoughts were on it. And we're coming to the end of another event which is currently going on in the game. But without further ado, we're going to jump straight into Community Day. So they've learnt from the Asian errors. Asia now comes at the end of the Community Day window. So February the 16th and 17th, we have the Community Day event announced uh, around the world. And it is Swine Up. Swine Up is the uh, Pokemon of choice. Makes sense. It's winter. I was a bit... Uh, I was I disregarded it a bit on my Twitter feed uh, the other day, but some people have made me realise the error of my ways, and we'll talk about that in a minute uh, when we delve straight into it. So what do we know? Swine up evolves into Pillar Swine. It's a two-stage evolution at the moment in the game. So two stages. However, with a Sinnoh Stone evolution, it becomes Mamo Swine, and Mamo Swine is epic. Forgot about that when I posted that tweet. So do apologise on that. There's loads of ways to get extra Sinnoh Stones on Community Day event as well. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Bonuses on the Day, free catch stardust, which is brilliant, and free hour lures, which is pretty standard now on community day events. The special move has not been announced yet, but that will follow shortly. So, how do you get these silo stones? Well, PvP battles are going to hot up on the day. Instead of three, you get five rewards on a PvP battle. So that's excellent. And then for the first three battles, you normally have a chance of getting a Sinnoh Stone. That's extended to five as well on Community Day. So there's loads of opportunities to get them. If you've got some, bank them just in case the, the, the laws and the odds of the gods up there do not work favourably on you on the day. I've got four of them in my back pocket after I've done the first lot of Sinnoh Evolutions. I'm going to keep them just in case. But I'm really worried because I haven't got any good swine up. So the day's swine up three hour window here in the UK, February the 16th. Asia follows it after America late on the 16th as well. They've learned from that. So, Phoebus. Phoebus was disappointing for me. I know I was moving over the weekend, didn't get much of a chance. Did three tasks uh, to start with. Managed to get an extra seven tasks. Did ten in the end. Didn't get a shiny Phoebus. The feedback was it was a great concept. Maybe a bit too short on it. That was the general feel on it. What's my feeling on it? Well, I think I like the idea. I think it's brilliant. It gives something different to the game around community day events. Structured very well. I think they should do multiple research tasks on each Pokestop. So when you live rurally, like we do now, even more so in Pokemon Go terms, uh, we've forfeited 11 Pokestops where I used to live over in South North Hants. Uh, and now we're down to about eight I've seen on our high street here. But they should redo it. So if you do the stop on it, uh, you should be able to spin it again and then keep spinning it once you complete the research tasks. So it gives you an, an abundance of research opportunities on it. That's my thought on it. Didn't get a shiny fee, but it's a bit sad, really. A little bit disappointed, but the feeling across my local trainers were that only about 20% of people got a shiny Phoebus on the day. And that was based on our 11 stops, 11 research tasks. So Niantic learned from that. Great concept. Phoebus is now in the wild in its shiny form. I'm going to hunt and try and find a nest for that if it does nest anywhere around here. But hopefully it will be available in some research tasks i see um, excuse me that i see some people have managed to get one or hatch one i should say from a 7k egg so hang in there if you haven't got your shiny feet but there'll be other opportunities i think there's something there's definitely a learning there uh, when it comes to how they introduce these further into the game so we're coming to the end of another event shiny groudon is now out there joining shiny kyogre who came out before as part of this hoenn regional event which is going on at the moment hoenn pokemon all over the place uh, in in multiple spawns zigzagoon uh, Zigzagoon and Taylor, uh, the uh, are the more common spawns during this event. Shiny increase rate has not been applied. There's just more of them spawning around the place. I've got my first shiny Zigzagoon. Makes me the Spice Girls there. Zigzagar, Zigzagoon, Zigzagoon. <laughs> got my shiny as close to a hedgehog as you're going to find in Pokemon Go uh, yesterday. So I was over the moon with that. So I've got the first shiny Zigzagoon. Just got to find that shiny tail. A few days left on that one. Got my shiny Groudon as well. So buzzing for shiny Groudon. But I haven't done too many raids since everything else that's been going on in life. 
well, that's pretty cool. So I've, I've posted on my Twitter account, I want to do a bit of a Q&A, so ask me some questions on my Twitter feed, post them on there, and when I do my next vlog, I'm going to do some live question and answers, and that'd be really, really interesting. I want to do some shout-outs as well at the end of this vlog. JT Valor, he is a legend, and he's had some phenomenal growth on his channel just recently. Post over there, JT Valor. Um, I put a bit on my Twitter feed for him. Go and check him out. He's pretty cool, actually. Like him a lot. And he's just just down to earth really he's done really really well so fair play to him uh, i'm just going to check him out um subscribe to me on twitter at masterport underscore 27 obviously you've got my youtube channel here you found me please give it a big thumbs up ping the bell for notifications and subscribe if you've just stumbled across this you want to hear a uk guy talking about pokemon go well i'm masterport 27 thank you all for taking the time to check this catch-up vlog on pokemon go we've talked about my thoughts on phoebus We've done a catch up on the latest event which is going on and we've actually talked about the community day which is coming up, which is absolutely brilliant. So have fun out there, everyone be safe, especially in these winter weathers and I'll catch up with you soon and throw those questions and answers on my Twitter feed. Thank you all, see you soon, thank you.